Welcome to this hands-on guide on the STM 32WL and LoRa. Uh, my name is Hugues and let's jump into it. So the first question you might have is, what is LoRa? And so LoRa is a long-range wireless communication protocol. So there are two key words you have to know. The first one is LoRa, which is the lower physical layer, which is developed by Semtech and considered as a black box. So it's all the RF part. We're going to use it, but we don't really have to know how it works. And then you have LoRa 1, which is the upper networking layer, um, which defines the communication protocol and the system architecture for the network. Um, so for example, you will see the network is aligned topology. So then um, the main selling point of LoRa is that it's both low power and long range. Um, so we're talking kilometers. Um, and the main downside is it's low data rate and you can't have everything. So I'm not going to give you a presentation on what LoRa is really. Uh, you should check these two websites, uh, Semtech and LoRa Alliance, and you will, you will find out everything you have to know. Then the second question you might have is what is the STM32WL? Um, and so the STM32WL is a system on chip which integrates both a microcontroller, so STM32, but also a sub gigahertz radio. Um, and what this means is that it's perfect for um, LoRa and nodes. And yet again, I'm not gonna give you a bigger introduction on the STM32WL, you should check st.com, um, the address here. But instead, uh, I wanna jump straight into the hands-on. So as I just said, um, the STM32WL is great for end nodes. Um, and so this is what we'll be using it for. So we're going to have an end node. Um, this is the, you know, the, the board with sensors that's going to be in the wild. Um, and so this board is going to be connected to the gateway, a gateway through LoRa, so wirelessly, um, over a long distance, kilometers. This gateway is then going to be transferring that data um, from the end node to a network server. Uh, for instance, we will be using Loria. And so once the data has been received by the network server, it can then be accessed from anywhere. And for instance, we can, um, we can create a dashboard on our PC and display all the data acquired by our end node. So in this series of video, we are gonna be um, creating, making this network, and this will be divided in multiple uh, hands-on. Hands-on one is the basic network setup. So here we're really focusing on connecting each of the different parts of the network together. Um, so for instance, we will first configure the gateway, then we will um, enroll the, the end node, um, then we will display data on the dashboard, and by the end of hands-on one, we will have a network uh, where fake data flows from the, the, the STM32WL, the end node, to our dashboard. I'm saying fake data here because the nuclear board we're going to be using, the end node here, um, doesn't actually have any uh, sensors on it. So what we're going to do then in hands-on 2 is to stack an environmental shield on top of the nuclear board. So this shield here. Um, and this shield has sensors on it. So what's going to happen is we're going to be able to stream environmental data from our end node to our dashboard. The next step is going to be to modify our project to send motion data instead of environmental data. We'll also be modifying our dashboard and as you can see you know, we'll have a dashboard displaying temperature, pressure, humidity uh, and the acceleration on all three axes. The third hands-on is going to be on downlink communication that is to be able to send data from our dashboard, or rather from our network server, to the end node. And that will be the end of the training, and we will have you know, a functioning network. So what are we going to be using to set up this LoRa network? First of all, we'll use a Nucleo WL55JC board. Um, so it's a development board which embeds a STM32WL. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's nice, okay, this. Um, then we will have a IKS01A2, which is an environmental shield with sensors on it. 
You can also use a IKS 01A3 if you want. Um, then for the gateway, I'm using a P Nucleo LR12. Um, for the cloud, I'm using Laureate. Uh, and for the dashboard, I'm using STM32 Cube Monitor. Now, you may be wondering, wait, uh, I've got something else. I've got a different gateway. I've got a different network server. Can I still follow this training? And the answer is yes. Um, for the gateway, there are many options. For the cloud network server, there are also many options. So Laureate, Actility, My Devices, the Things Networks. Uh, I'm sure there are many others. Um, for the dashboard, you also have many other options. Um, for the endnote, you have other options, but you know they will be from, from competitors, so I'm really focusing on the WL. Um, but definitely, um, yes, even if you have a slightly different configuration, you can follow this training. So in summary, this is what we're going to do. Hands on one, basic network setup. So we're going to set up the gateway, the endnote, and then the dashboard. Then there will be hands-on two uh, for the uplink communication with the environmental shield, um, and then we will send motion data. And finally, in hands-on three, we will set up the downlink communication. Okay, the last thing is I just want to show you my website. So um, for each video in this guide, there is a web page on my website, which is called truestepbystep.com, um, and you will find some additional details and you will also find um, all the projects, okay? Um, so if at any point you need any further information about the guides, uh, or you wanna make sure you're using the latest version, please check my website. Anyways, um, enjoy the guide, and please let me know of any feedback, um, if you have any, because this is um, my first training, so I'm kinda excited. Thank you.